Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Killer Shrew Fans Killer Toy Reviews. Last time you heard from me, I was sharing my top five pop culture inspired releases of the past year, while at the same time waiting with bated breath for PNSO's Sukomimus to arrive, so that I could finally get around to doing my countdown on the top 10 scientific models released in 2022. Well, my friends, the wait is finally over. PNSO's last model for the year has arrived, and now that we've gotten Mattel and the movie monsters out of the way, it's officially time to shift gears and talk about my top accurate models from the past year. And boy, oh boy, is there a lot to talk about. Thanks to the likes of both fan favorite companies and independent artists, 2022 turned out to be yet another banner year for collectors of scientifically accurate models. Safari LTD came back with a more expansive catalog for both their Prehistoric World and Dino Dana lines, while big swingers like PNSO released a more reserved but still impressive lineup of 12 beautiful new figures. Eofana gave us our first model based on a 3D musculoskeletal reconstruction featured in a scientific paper. That's pretty cool. And even the likes of Rebor decided to flex their accuracy muscles, with perhaps their most widely celebrated release to date, that being their updated Tyrannosaurus Rex duo. All told, it was another great year for scientific models indeed, which makes my job here today all the more difficult. To make things a little easier on myself, I've decided to exclude the select few beasts of the Mesozoic releases from last year, since I still feel like those just exist in a league all their own. Just know that I highly enjoyed all of the 118th scale Ceratopsians released in 2022. The Dromaeosaurs, I could take them or leave them, and the Tyrannosaur line and remainder of the fans choice Ceratopsians are yet to even ship out for most, so I won't be counting them as part of the 2022 lineup. So check back in a year, we'll definitely be giving them some shout outs. Plus, today is more about the models as opposed to the poseable action figures anyway, so there you go. So let's talk about the model, shall we? Before we break into the official top 10, I do have to give out a fair number of honorable mentions here, seeing how many great figures we got this year. And the first group of figures I have to acknowledge is from PNSO. In all honesty, I probably could have just filled this entire list with PNSO releases. They're just that good at what they do, but where would be the fun in that? First up, gotta give a shout out to their Sinopliosaurus, or whatever the heck y'all want to call it. Yeah, weird designation aside, this is still a great Spinosaurid figure. I love the color scheme and the inclusion of the paddle tail, and if not for a later addition to the catalog, there's a good chance this figure would have cracked into the actual list. Next up, PNSO Styracosaurus. The sculpt work and paint on this thing are top notch, though not as clean as the paint master may have led us to hope, and perhaps that's why it didn't quite turn out to be my favorite Ceratopsian from them this year. Meanwhile, PNSO's Therizinosaurus was another beautifully executed feathered sculpt, and easily the best take of this species currently available. And as a final PNSO nod, gotta give a shout out to their Acrocanthosaurus. This guy was in my top 10 list for so long, basically right up until I actually started putting this video together, but upon further reflection, I did have to give the spot to a different figure. It was a close call though. I love, love the size and paint job on this figure. But yeah, I think it's safe to say that PNSO could have easily swept this list, even with a more limited lineup than what we're used to seeing. Outside of PNSO though, Collectus Big Ol' and Montosaurus made for an awesome addition to their 2022 lineup. I'm always glad to see Ed Montosaurus getting some love, and this updated figure was a real standout to me from a company that isn't typically even on my radar. And as a final honorable mention, I do want to give a nod to Safari LTD's Albertosaurus. Always great to see a new Tyrannosaur from Doug Watson. 
But getting into the official top 10, we're gonna continue with Doug Watson's work. The Safari LTD Cryolophosaurus was without a doubt my favorite figure from their lineup this year. A big part of that is thanks to Doug's always appealing sculpting style, but the colors on this thing, my gosh. Definitely one of the best color schemes I've seen on a Safari figure in recent memory. The number 9 spot goes to Eofana's Longboy Diplodocus. As I mentioned, this figure holds the distinction of being the first model designed using the 3D musculoskeletal reconstruction featured in a scientific paper, making it not only a solid all-around figure, but an important one in collecting history. It might not reach the same heights as their Atlasaurus, literally, but the length of this thing is impressive. It's got some incredible sculpted detail and the color scheme is strong. Coming in at number 8, we have PNSO's Zhusheng Tyrannus Lujong. This is easily PNSO's best Tyrannosaur to date. The incredible level of work regarding all of the skin folds and subtle scales is amazing, and I absolutely love the active but surprisingly well-balanced pose on this figure. It does lose some points in the detail department of the paint job, but the overall impression of this model is truly one for the books. At number 7, we have Xuan Xuan, the Lingulong by PNSO. That's fun to say. Between the massive size, incredible variation in the detail work, and lovely paint job, this figure was such a delightful surprise from PNSO. Although the cheesy grin did detract somewhat from the look in my eyes, it was so great to get another beautiful, big, beefy sauropod figure when so many companies seem to be shying away from this idea. Although a cowardly part of me hopes it does not become the norm from PNSO, as I'm sure both my wallet and shelves would be crying out in agony. But if the work is this good, how could I possibly say no? And the number six selection goes to PNSO's Sukomimus. Are you starting to see a pattern emerging here? What a way to cap off an already stellar year from the company. They sure had a lot of us going after the initial Sukomimus rumor leaked, only to turn around and reveal the Sinopliosaurus, but I sure am glad we did end up getting this figure in the long run. The sculpt work is as great as ever, but what really ended up winning me over here between this and the Sinopliosaurus was the lovely paint job. Not only were the blue tones refreshing to see, but I loved the ringed tail and vibrant crest, and the dusty wash applied to the figure really upped the realism in my eyes, and allowed all of that sculpt work to really pop. Like I said, just an all-around great figure to close the year on. Getting into the top five, we have Aubrey the Taurosaurus by PNSO. This is and I don't say this lightly, the best Ceratopsian from PNSO to date. Thanks to its staggering levels of sculptural detail, impressive size, and of course, that stunning frill design. To cap it all off, she even comes with an adorable infant, something I wish PNSO did more of. Common complaints include the unpainted rear of the frill and weird seam lines from the jaw articulation, but for anyone able to look past all of that, this is absolutely one of PNSO's standout releases. But the number four spot goes to perhaps their best painted figure to date. The PNSO Sintausaurus is another stellar sculpt, and the first hadrosaur from PNSO to fully incorporate the beefier proportions suggested by Bertozzo et al. But on top of that, you have this gorgeous, gorgeous paint job. Between the lovely shades of greens and yellows and vibrant splashes of blues and reds, I think a case could be made that it is PNSO's best design 
and application to date. Unfortunately, this relatively small figure did get shoehorned into the museum line and as a result ended up costing a pretty penny more than it probably should have since it came in a fancy box with a bunch of paper and a cheap nonsense base. You could make the argument that the execution of the paint job is what ultimately drove up the cost, but I can't help but feel like nearly all of the paint applications from PNSO have been strong this year. This one is still the best in my book, but is it $60 good? That is the question. I'll leave it up to you to decide, but just know that if this figure had been part of the cheaper prehistoric animal line, there's a very good chance it could have been even higher up on this list. And coming in at number three, I don't think any of us expected this. It's Rebor's Tyrannosaurus Rex Kiss. A big, bulky Rex complete with extra oral tissue and some of Rebor's most understated detail work yet make this an absolute standout from the company. It might not be the perfect Rex, and the QC wasn't great by any means, but you can't really go wrong with the money you're spending, and the fact that it's a Rebor product makes it particularly noteworthy and worth celebrating. I'm honestly at a loss every time I look at it. I never would have thought that a figure from those awesome bro designers would make my top 10 scientific model list, let alone wind up sitting this high on it. And for those of you who missed out on Kiss, I will mention that Tusk is a pretty great offering as well. The runner-up of the year goes to a figure from an independent artist. Ancestors Models Edmontosaurus figure is everything I've been wanting to see. Not only was it E. Anectins as opposed to just being another E. Regalis, but the execution of it was impressive. Impeccable. The size is amazing, the detail work is so well done, and the paint job is truly gorgeous. I can't do it justice on video here, it's really just something you have to hold in your hands to be able to fully appreciate all of the beautiful nuances of the paint and sculpt. If you haven't heard of Ancestors, hopefully this figure is your wake-up call to start paying attention to their work. And the number one dinosaur figure of 2022 goes to Leonard the Lystrosaurus. Just kidding. It actually goes to Jacques the Dinochirus by PNSO. And when I say dinosaur figure, I mean dinosaur figure. This thing is basically everything you'd want to see on an accurate dinosaur model, from its insanely well-executed and varied sculpt to its eye-catching and well-applied color scheme. This one was absolutely no contest for me. I found no matter how much I shuffled around the other picks, this Dino Kyrus never left my number one spot. Not only is it PNSO's best figure to date, or the best figure of 2022 in my eyes, but I honestly believe it is one of the best dinosaur figures ever produced in the long storied history of dinosaur model production. So there you have it everyone, those were my favorite scientific figures released throughout 2022. Overall, I think it was another incredible year for fans of accurate models, and I cannot wait to see what each of these companies has in store for us in the coming months. Ancestors has already teased a diverse lineup, Rebor has a gorgeous Diplodocus and Sarcosuchus on the horizon, Collecta's lineups are getting more and more tempting with each passing year, and Eofauna has already teased an incredibly promising Tyrannosaurus figure. As for the rest, we'll just have to wait and see, but one thing is certain, the future is bright. As always, don't forget to let me know what your favorite scientific models were for the year of 2022. Do you agree with my picks, or do you think I'm way off? Leave all of your thoughts in the comments section below, and thank you all so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all soon for the next one. Until then, take care out there. And bye-bye.